This is for lye. Then you got your ash. Your bucket with a nail in it. Your bag of sand. Some straw. And rocks for the filtration. And those, folks, are your ingredients for lye. Rocks first. Say water in the bag, it looks like. Yeah, there's a lot of water in that. So thing. wet sand. Awesome. It's funny, isn't it, to think the one ingredient a... we didn't put out is the actual water. Right. Okay, so I think it's weird to think that this is basically you're essentially repeating a process that's been done for hundreds of years. Yeah. The only exception being that your bucket probably wouldn't have been plastic. Yes. <laughs> There's your wood ash. Is it doesn't matter what kind of wood, does it? Hardwoods. Hardwoods. You don't want like resinous softwoods. Oh, okay. Like Hardwoods in the ash. We're not gonna get all this in. We're gonna have to start putting the water in as we go, I guess. Well, yeah, what you do is you, um, when we get this filled, yep. you just make a little, you're supposed to be tamping this down. Yep, all right, so you're compressing as you go. And then you, you create a little impression in the top, yep. and you fill that with water, and then you let that water seep in, and then, and then a little, add bit, a little more, bit more, okay. So on. That's a lot of cold winter nights in that bucket. <laughs> okay, we're compressing the ash in the top of the bucket. This is five gallons. Gonna make a little space for the last ingredient, which will be H2O. Okay, last ingredient, the water. Cleaning out the bucket. Although with all the stuff we've put in the other bucket, it probably doesn't matter. <laughs> Since I haven't collected rainwater, right. I use well water. Ooh. See the way he snuck that in so you'd know he wasn't coming out of the tap. Look at that. <laughs> but that still counts as primal. <laughs> if it came out of the ground and not out of the sky. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Slowly adding water. Who would have thunk it? Water, ash, a bunch of rocks, some sand and straw. Will eventually give us half of what comprises soap. Ooh. Okay, so and that's all there is to patience it. Patience is a virtue, they say, in this process. Yeah. Come you back in that to, come back in two days. <laughs> yeah, you want that to go down before you add more. Sure. So okay. Okay folks, there it is. That will be lie and when we stick that with some fat you'll be able to wash yourself in it how about that okay so basically um seemed to me early on in my research that you know one of the issues with making your own lie is figuring out how concentrated the lye water is so back in the day uh, colonial days for example once they had their lye water they would measure its concentration by floating an egg in it. Fair enough. And <laughs> if, if a nickel-sized to quarter-sized 
piece of the egg was floating above the surface, they said that's good enough. It's got enough, Fair enough. concentration right. of lye in it to make soap out of. Um, when you're making soap with commercial lye recipes, uh, you know exactly what the concentration of lye is. So I got a couple things here that should help us establish that. One is we can measure the pH right. of the liquid directly. Um, that's one way. A more accurate way, actually, very similar to how we measure the sugar concentration of maple syrup, is we would fill this graduated cylinder with the lye water and then float this uh, specific gravity testing device, if you will, in sure. the lye water. Okay. And, and then there are tables, fortunately, in the literature which tell us you know, where, what, we wanna be. where we want to be. And I've okay. got this one is, so one, This it would float right at the one mark if we floated it in pure water. Okay. So ours is going to be somewhere so between. So how would that two. affect the properties of the soap? The more, the denser we get, do you know? The denser it gets, the greater the concentration of potassium hydroxide, the more fat would be required to consume the lye okay. completely in the reaction. So essentially the denser it is, the more abrasive, the more... Uh, the more the more soap you can make. Right, okay. <laughs> um, the more fat you can use you can in use. your recipe, so the more soap so you're So we want it dense. We would like it reasonably dense. We would like it reasonably dense. Like okay. I said, I think, and I forget what the specific gravity would be, but I think typically you're talking about a 30% concentration. It should in, take us to about one point... Commercial. Three, well, I'd have four, to look something like that. I'll okay. Consult the table before we decide that. All right, then. So, uh, test equipment. So we're we're gonna try to do a little bit better than floating an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs>